Welcome to a journey into timeless wisdom, where each insight offers a path to living with purpose, resilience, and self-mastery. Imagine shaping a life where your actions truly reflect who you are, where time is valued as your most precious resource, and where every choice aligns with your deeper purpose. In this video, we'll explore 15 powerful insights from history's greatest minds, offering you tools to live more intentionally, trust yourself, and break free from distractions. These aren't just quotes. They're powerful stepping stones toward creating a life of clarity, strength, and inner peace. If you're ready to step into this journey of self-transformation, subscribe to the Stoic Code channel. Together, we'll embrace the art of intentional living, one insight at a time. 1. We all love ourselves more than other people, but care more about their opinion than our own. This paradox from Marcus Aurelius highlights a struggle that spans centuries, the tension between self-love and the desire for social approval. It's fascinating, really. Most people naturally prioritize their own happiness, yet they allow others' opinions to shape their actions, sometimes more than their own inner compass. In today's world, this paradox is amplified by the constant stream of likes, comments, and shares. Social media has transformed human interaction into a spectacle, where everyone becomes both a performer and an audience member. Think of the hours spent perfecting a post or rehearsing a line to seem just right. Yet, what's often lost in this pursuit of approval is our genuine self. The person who stays in a high-stress job just because it's prestigious, or the teenager who shifts interests to fit in with a friend group, these scenarios play out everywhere, illustrating the same pattern, prioritizing others' perceptions over authentic desires. Imagine if, instead, people trusted their own opinions as much as they value those of others. This shift isn't about becoming self-centered, it's about grounding yourself in self-trust. When you ask yourself, am I doing this for me or for others? You start seeing through the noise, recognizing what truly matters to you. The next time you're caught between what you want and what you think others expect, pause. Question if the choice aligns with your goals or if you're adjusting for someone else's sake. Realizing this allows you to make choices that resonate with your true self, no longer a character in someone else's story, but the protagonist of your own, too. Discipline is choosing between what you want now and what you want most. Abraham Lincoln's words tap into a core challenge of human experience, the battle between short-term pleasures and long-term goals. Every day, you face a thousand small choices that define this struggle. Do you scroll through your feed for another hour, or do you spend that time working on a passion project? Do you go for the instant comfort of fast food or invest in a healthy meal that benefits your future self? In the age of instant gratification, Lincoln's wisdom is crucial. It's tempting to reach for the nearest reward, the dopamine hit from a notification or the convenience of a quick fix. But each time you choose the path of discipline, you're actively shaping a future built on resilience and purpose. Think of an athlete training early in the morning or an entrepreneur burning the midnight oil. These actions aren't just about willpower. They're about trading comfort now for achievement later. Discipline is a skill that grows with practice. Start by setting small goals that align with your most significant aspirations. Gradually, choosing what you want most over what you want now becomes easier and ultimately transformative. 3. The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. This powerful idea from Marcus Aurelius, a cornerstone of Stoic thought, emphasizes that obstacles aren't merely roadblocks but the very path to progress. In other words, Challenges don't stop us. They are precisely what propels us forward. Imagine a mountain climber staring up at a steep cliff. 
To reach the summit, she doesn't avoid the cliff or find an easy way around it. She climbs it. That obstacle, the steep face of the mountain, is her path upward. In life, obstacles often trigger frustration, disappointment or even fear. A failed relationship, a lost job or a rejected proposal can feel devastating. But what if, instead of seeing these as setbacks, you viewed them as tools for growth? By embracing this mindset, every no becomes an invitation to refine your skills, every failure a lesson in resilience, and every struggle a necessary part of the journey. This philosophy helps you see that the true value of any obstacle lies not in getting around it, but in growing through it. Practical application of this principle can be transformative. Next time you're faced with a difficult situation, ask yourself, how can I use this to my advantage? Maybe a project fell through. Could it be an opportunity to develop a better approach? Did someone criticize your work? Consider it feedback to improve. Over time, this approach not only makes you more resilient, but also teaches you to welcome challenges as stepping stones on your journey. 4. If it is not right, do not do it. If it is not true, do not say it. This quote, another gem from Marcus Aurelius, serves as a concise moral compass for daily living. It speaks to the stoic value of integrity, which is about being guided by an inner sense of right and wrong, regardless of external pressures. In a world where people often say things to please or do things to fit in, maintaining this kind of integrity is like having a secret superpower. It's rare and deeply respected. Living with integrity means that your actions and words consistently reflect your values. Think about this in terms of daily interactions. Do you compliment someone only to win their favor or because you genuinely mean it? Do you stay silent when you witness something wrong or do you speak up because it aligns with your sense of justice? Integrity often requires courage. It can mean risking popularity, convenience or even relationships. But in doing so, you gain something far more valuable, self-respect and the trust of others. Building a habit of acting and speaking with integrity starts with small choices. Next time you're faced with a moral dilemma, pause and check in with yourself. Is this action aligned with what I know to be right? Is what I'm about to say genuine? These simple reflections can help you avoid acting out of convenience or fear and instead let your actions and words be guided by authenticity. 5. It is not death that a man should fear, but he should fear never beginning to live. Here, Marcus Aurelius touches on a profound truth. The real tragedy isn't the end of life, but a life left unlived. Many people go through life held back by fears, self-doubt, or the expectations of others. They play it safe, clinging to comfort zones and predictable paths, hoping to avoid pain or failure. Yet, ironically, this pursuit of safety can prevent them from experiencing life in its fullest form. To begin to live means to take risks, to chase dreams, and to embrace both the highs and the lows. Picture someone who has always wanted to travel, but fears leaving the comfort of home. Or someone who dreams of switching careers, but stays in a job they dislike, because it's familiar. By fearing change, they miss out on the very experiences that could bring joy, growth and fulfillment. In practical terms, embracing this philosophy doesn't mean being reckless. It's about being willing to step outside your comfort zone in ways that align with your aspirations. Start by taking small but meaningful steps toward things you've always wanted to do. Maybe that means signing up for a class, initiating a bold conversation, or pursuing a passion project. The fear of death is natural, but a greater fear should be letting that fear keep you from fully embracing life. 6. The soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. This quote highlights the stoic belief in the power of our thoughts to shape who we are. 
The idea is that our inner dialogue influences not only our emotional state, but also our actions and character. If we dwell on negativity, our outlook becomes bleak and we act accordingly. On the flip side, cultivating positive, constructive thoughts leads us to act with confidence and purpose. It's like seeing the world through a lens that we choose to color. Think of this concept as a form of mental gardening. When we plant seeds of self-doubt, worry or anger, we're nurturing weeds that can take over our mental landscape. But when we plant seeds of resilience, gratitude and kindness, we cultivate a garden that can withstand life's storms. This isn't about pretending everything is perfect. It's about choosing thoughts that empower us to respond effectively to challenges. To apply this, start paying attention to recurring negative thoughts. Challenge them by asking, is this thought helpful? Is it even true? Replace destructive thoughts with empowering ones. For instance, instead of, I'll never succeed, try, this is tough, but I can learn and improve. Over time, as you practice this mental shift, your mindset becomes more resilient. By consistently choosing constructive thoughts, you color your soul with strength and positivity. 7. Dwell on the beauty of life. Watch the stars and see yourself running with them. This quote reminds us of the stoic appreciation for the vastness of the universe and our place within it. By taking a step back and contemplating the beauty around us, we're encouraged to see our problems with a broader perspective. Just as the stars remain constant amid the night sky, we too can find steadiness by focusing on life's wonders rather than dwelling on trivial worries. Appreciating the beauty of life doesn't mean ignoring life's difficulties. Instead, it means balancing our hardships with an awareness of the beauty and order that still exist around us. This kind of reflection fosters a sense of humility and connection to something greater than ourselves. To incorporate this practice, make time to observe the world around you with curiosity and gratitude. When stressed, take a few minutes to appreciate a sunrise, listen to birdsong, or gaze at the stars. Remembering the beauty in these simple things can bring a refreshing perspective, reminding you of the vastness beyond daily worries. This balance between struggle and awe strengthens resilience, making challenges easier to face. 8. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. One of Stoicism's central tenets is understanding the boundary between what we can and cannot control. While we often try to control external events, other people's opinions, life's outcomes, or even the weather, our true power lies in how we choose to interpret and respond to these events. When we relinquish the need to control what's outside ourselves, we conserve our energy for what truly matters, our own reactions and mindset. Imagine being stuck in a traffic jam. Getting frustrated won't change the situation, but you can choose to use that time productively, listening to an audiobook, practicing deep breathing, or simply being patient. By focusing on what you can control, you shift from feeling helpless to empowered. This mindset doesn't remove challenges, but it changes how you experience them, often allowing you to respond with more calm and clarity. To adopt this philosophy, start by identifying situations where you feel out of control. Pause and ask yourself, what here can I influence? Often, it's only your reaction. Over time, this practice builds resilience and inner strength, helping you navigate life's uncertainties with peace rather than frustration. The more you accept that your control lies within, the less burdened you feel by life's ups and downs. 9. If it is not right, do not do it. If it is not true, do not say it. This stoic principle embodies the virtue of integrity. Living by this rule helps simplify decisions by aligning them with a clear moral compass. If an action or word does not hold up to truth or righteousness, 
it should be avoided. For the Stoics, ethical living was a pathway to inner peace, as it removed the anxiety that often accompanies dishonesty or wrongdoing. In modern life, where pressures can push us toward compromising our values, this quote serves as a reminder to prioritize integrity above convenience or gain. Imagine you're in a situation at work where bending the truth could help you get ahead or avoid criticism. In the short term, it might seem advantageous, but over time, these small lapses erode self-respect and increase stress. Conversely, consistently choosing what is right builds a reputation of trustworthiness and cultivates a clear conscience. To practice this, approach each decision with a sense of mindfulness. Ask yourself if your words or actions align with what you believe to be true and just. In conversations, consider speaking only if your words add value or offer honesty, even if the truth is uncomfortable. This doesn't mean being brutally blunt, but rather that kindness and honesty should guide your words. Living with this principle may not always yield immediate rewards. Sometimes, integrity requires sacrifices, such as declining shortcuts that others may take. However, the long-term benefits inner peace, respect from others, and a reputation built on truth far outweigh the short-lived gains from compromising your values. Integrity, after all, is a form of strength. It demonstrates a commitment to one's highest self, fostering resilience and trustworthiness. 10. The best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injury. This quote speaks to the stoic rejection of petty vengeance, and the importance of maintaining one's character even in the face of wrongdoing. In essence, it suggests that by rising above others' negative actions, you protect your integrity. Responding to hurtful actions with a desire for revenge may offer temporary satisfaction, but it ultimately lowers you to the level of the offender. This principle encourages a form of strength that comes not from retaliation, but from restraint. Imagine a scenario where a colleague undermines you in a meeting. Instead of retaliating or engaging in gossip, the stoic approach would be to maintain professionalism and respond with grace. This doesn't mean ignoring the harm done, but rather choosing a dignified response that reflects your values, not theirs. Practicing this stoic ideal requires focusing on personal growth rather than on others' misdeeds. This can be challenging, as revenge often seems satisfying. However, stoics believe that true strength comes from self-control. By refusing to mirror others' negative actions, you free yourself from resentment and protect your inner peace. The act of forgiveness, or at the very least, Detachment from vengeance is a form of liberation. You're no longer bound by the emotional chains of another person's wrongdoing. Over time, you'll find that this approach not only preserves your peace, but often earns the respect of others. People are drawn to those who handle conflict with maturity, and this approach allows you to focus on building something positive rather than tearing others down. True strength lies in shaping your own character rather than allowing others to dictate your actions. 11. When you arise in the morning, think of what a privilege it is to be alive, to think, to enjoy, to love. This stoic perspective underscores the importance of gratitude and mindfulness as we begin each day. It's a call to appreciate life's fundamental gifts, the ability to think, to experience joy, to love others. Starting the day with a sense of gratitude can set a positive tone and help navigate challenges with resilience and perspective. Gratitude as a practice has been shown to improve mood, reduce stress, and even enhance physical health. When we pause to recognize the good things in our lives, no matter how simple, we shift our focus from what we lack to what we have. For instance, even on a difficult morning, reflecting on the comfort of a warm bed, the joy of a pet's companionship, or the promise of a new day, 
can create a foundation of positivity. To integrate this practice, begin each day with a gratitude ritual. Take a few moments upon waking to mentally list three things you're grateful for. These can be as small as a cozy blanket or as profound as a loving family member. This moment of reflection doesn't eliminate the stresses you might face, but it equips you with a mindset that makes challenges more manageable. Living with gratitude aligns with stoic principles of focusing on what's within your control, your mindset. While external events are often beyond your influence, choosing to recognize the privileges of each day is a decision within your power. Over time, this practice builds resilience as gratitude fosters contentment and mitigates stress. It reminds us that despite life's unpredictability, there is always something to appreciate. This morning ritual may seem small, but its cumulative effect can be transformative. By starting each day with a sense of privilege and gratitude, you set yourself on a path of resilience, optimism and peace. Qualities that will serve you well, no matter what the day brings. The teachings of Stoicism are not just ancient philosophy, they are practical tools for living a more resilient, purposeful and peaceful life in the modern world. From controlling our responses to external events to maintaining integrity in the face of adversity, Stoic principles guide us toward becoming stronger versions of ourselves. By embracing these teachings, we learn that it's not the world around us that dictates our happiness, but our ability to control our reactions. Every day presents opportunities to practice wisdom, patience and self-discipline. Whether it's choosing not to retaliate against wrongdoers or waking up with gratitude for the simple joys of life, Stoicism teaches us to focus on what we can control, our attitudes and actions. The journey toward becoming a more stoic individual is not one of perfection, but progress. Each day offers new opportunities to practice virtue and build resilience. When faced with challenges, remember that the true measure of your strength lies not in how the world treats you, but in how you respond to it. By aligning your actions with what is true, right and just, you create a life built on integrity and inner peace. Ultimately, living by stoic principles transforms the way we approach life. It empowers us to face difficulties with calm, to handle relationships with wisdom, and to navigate life's inevitable struggles with grace. And as you integrate these lessons into your own life, you'll not only cultivate a more meaningful existence, but also inspire those around you to live with purpose, resilience, and strength. Remember, the Stoic journey is about consistent effort, not perfection.